In this video, you will learn how to create your mockup out of your own photos, one of the most requested features for the new version of Artboard Studio. Let's find an example photo from Unsplash and create our mockup. We will start with removing the background from this t shirt model photo. For that, select the photo and click on the Remove Background icon on the top bar. The auto generated results are not bad but we need to edit some parts. Here you can determine which parts you want to remove or keep before you clean out the background of the photo. If you are done with the removing process, simply click Done button on top and import the photo without a background into your infinite canvas. Create another copy because we need the masking area for the t-shirt only. So now we need to remove the arms and other unwanted parts and just left the white t-shirt. Now we have the model photo and the only white t-shirt part to be used as the mask. Now lock the mask layer and create the surface for putting your designs. Create a new artboard and make a smart object layer out of that. Be careful that the ratio of the artboard will give you realistic results after you warp it. So, draw it almost the same size as the body and create a smart object layer from this artboard. Position this smart object layer on top of the white t-shirt. Apply a blending mode or opacity to see the image in the background. Align it with the white t-shirt layer. Now put some content inside the artboard to see the results while we are warping the smart object layer. Putting a long text is a good idea to see the warp effect. Now it's time to warp this design on the t-shirt. Select the smart object layer and go to top bar warp transformation menu. The moment you click on this icon, you will see 12 meshes on your smart object layer. Move the mesh points around and try to get the warping effect on the t-shirt. After you are done with mesh points, press enter key to apply your settings. Now we need some perspective transformation too. So again, select the smart object layer and this time select the perspective transformation option on the top bar. Now let's mask this warped smart object layer inside the t-shirt. First, unlock the t-shirt image layer and select both layers. When you select two layers, you will see masking options on the top bar. Here, select the mask out option. This way you have created a group with these two layers. In order to avoid confusion, rename your layer. Simply move this group layer on the model photo. Try to align perfectly. Now change the blending mode of this group layer to multiply because we need to see the background image. Again, you can adjust the opacity here too. Let's change the content inside the main artboard and render our changes directly on the model photo. You can try different blending mode options based on your photo. Most of the times, multiply option is the best for white background photos. Now, this is the fun part. You can try any design on the t-shirt model. I will check out some marketplace content to find some cool illustrations. You can also create a new artboard to include this mockup model. This way you can import a photo on the background or effects to get more realistic results. This is basically how you can make a mock-up out of your own photos with the new version of Artboard Studio. You can always go back to your smart objects and edit these warping or perspective settings. Now it is your turn to import your own photos and create amazing mock-ups without Photoshop. 
with all warping and perspective options plus some cool effects. <laughs>